A tender moment as a heartbroken woman hugs the horse her husband was riding when he lost his life. It's a devastation beyond anything that you can imagine. Deborah Barkley says her husband Peter loved to ride and reenact the pageantry of medieval times. In shows like Game of Thrones, jousting is depicted as mortal combat. But tournaments like these are not supposed to end in death. But that's what happened to retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Peter Barkley. Anytime you get up on a horse like this, it's a dangerous situation. You had a weapon in your hand. Renaissance festivals are growing in popularity. Like the one held in Ohio over the weekend. Knights in armor charging each other. The lance is splintered and a rider is knocked to the ground. A huge crowd cheers them on. Last week, Barkley took part in a challenge using a pointed steel tipped spear. The rider has to pass the spear through a ring held by a maiden. Then he attempts to spear an object on the ground. Sometimes it's a bale of hay. In Peter Barkley's competition, the target was a wooden plate. He always wanted to challenge. Barkley had performed in tournaments for 30 years, but he was not wearing armor when tragedy struck. Somehow, he impaled himself with the spear. Accidentally. 43-year-old Barkley was rushed to the hospital where he died. I'm sure he was thinking of his family. He had two beautiful daughters and a precocious grandson. It's hard to comprehend what, what really happened. I'm not sure I'll ever really know. Sir Shanton! Shane Adams of the Knights of Valor showed Inside happened, Edition what might have gone wrong. And a, it ripped out of his hand, flipped over, and with stride of horse, came right back up into him. Peter's younger brother, Charles. I loved him more than anything. At her farm in Virginia, the grieving widow is keeping the armor her husband cherished so much. This is his helmet. Comforted with the knowledge that he died doing what he loved.